guys welcome back to my channel I'm Heather and you're watching Whipper Will Creations and today I want to show you something odd there was no silicone or anything on this piece right here there's a dimple there's a dimple here and a dimple here and what I did was I took some 70% alcohol and I just wiped it down just because uh, I have no idea why those dimples were created there's well there's another one there there was plenty of resin on here and if you want to see how I painted this turtle I will put a link to it in the description box But I made up, I'm going to do this piece today too, but I just want to pour some on here and get this taken care of. So you're kind of getting a, just a little bit of a twofer. Here's how you top coat. <laughs> I'm using a pack general, general use. Actually, it's now called premium quality. I'm almost out. When I'm out, guys, I have no idea how I'm going to make any more videos. I don't want to, I don't want to put on a whole lot here. And... This is a big job. So I found one rubber glove and I've got one dishwashing glove. <laughs> I tell you, I'm getting desperate. So I'm just going to smooth this out and hope that it fills in the dimples. Okay, I have to turn the overhead light on so I can see the, the lint things, and then I'm going to move this over into my drying rack. I'm going to go with some sapphire blue from the Color Cottage. Just a little bit because I don't want it to be opaque. And I'm going to give that a little squirt of Casting Craft uh, Blue Transparent Resin Dye. Well, big squirt. How's that? Now, let's see. I want some seaside blue just a little bit because I don't want to make it opaque we're gonna go with some interference violet I have some turquoise here from Martha Stewart that my sponsor Shelly gave me I think I put that in with the seaside blue and now I want some white now I'm gonna put just a little bit in each cup just to stir it Get it incorporated and then I'll add more resin. I like the Illumilite. I am um, very pleased with it. I haven't tried anything else, but if somebody wants to send me some things to try, let me know. I have my email connection in the description box. And I can send you an address. Okay. Let's go with uh, some clear first. Now I've taped the back of my piece. Spray painted it about four times. Hopefully this thing is sealed.
I need to put more white in my resin. Okay, I'm gonna let this cure and then I'm gonna come back and embellish it. I used cranberry and I don't really care for that color. So I think what I'm gonna do is switch out to put some red violet down. Maybe that will go better with the interference violet that I created in the resin. So, oh, I've also got some gloss glazing liquid. Um, hopefully this will help uh, so that I can blend.
Okay. I'm going to call this done. There it is. I can't decide, guys. If I like it this way. Or this way. I did the best I could. Look at that pretty purple. And the ocean waves. And the single flow floating single flowing flower. <laughs> single floating flower. That's so pretty. Let me switch it back one more time. Let's put it right up on the top of the chair and hope it doesn't fall over. Pretty. I like it that way, I guess. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I really appreciate you stopping in. Till next time. Love you.